Cooper easing more COVID-19 restrictions. Good evening. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. More people will be allowed inside certain businesses, with some even allowed to operate at full capacity. And the state's ban on alcohol sales after 11 p.m., that is going away. All of this taking effect at 5 o'clock on Friday. Our Capitol reporter, Michael Hyland, is getting answers in Raleigh about why these changes are happening now and what they mean for you. Michael. Right, Governor Cooper pointed to the state's COVID-19 numbers either improving or holding steady. So this means some businesses can fully reopen, while others, such as bars, are still going to be operating at reduced capacity. More people could come inside your favorite businesses soon. Governor Roy Cooper is loosening some restrictions while offering this warning. This pandemic is not over yet. Starting Friday, businesses and other venues will be able to operate anywhere from 50 to 100 percent of capacity. For example, sports venues can open at 50 percent, while clothing stores and barber shops can operate at 100 percent. Cooper is also lifting the 11 p.m. curfew on alcohol sales, meaning they can continue until the normal time of 2 a.m. Restaurants, breweries, and wineries can open at 75 percent of capacity. Bars will still be restricted to 50 percent. I asked Cooper why he continues to treat them differently. Grouping certain settings and activities into various risk columns and the executive order is based upon those different levels of risks. Jason Ruth owns Tiny's Tavern in Wilmington, recently able to reopen for people to sit inside for the first time in nearly a year. He's part of a group of bar owners that sued Governor Cooper. Every time, you know, with bated breath, we're just dying for some kind of help. He says he and his partner had to take on debt as government help came and dried up quickly. He told me lifting the curfew on alcohol sales will help, but he wants bars treated the same way as restaurants. We want to be treated fairly. We want to be a partner in this. We know how to do it safely. This latest executive order will take effect on Friday and it lasts through the end of April. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.